verse 34. Because I want to give you, don't get me wrong, I love Magic Johnson. I love Isaiah Thomas. I love a lot of these athletes who are so passionate. Amen? But Jesus followed his passion. And Jesus is the ultimate example of how we should behave. Jesus is the ultimate example on the field, off the field, at work, at home. Because let me put it this way. A lot of times when we get under pressure, we use the pressure of life as an excuse to sin. Because what do we say? We say, well, you don't know what I'm going through. Or you don't know my trials. You don't know my tribulation. And you're absolutely right. I need to be more empathetic and understanding what you're going through. But even though I need to be more empathetic, here's one thing I know, no matter what you're going through, it's not an excuse to sin. No matter what you're going through, it's not an excuse to sin. So our Savior, just to give you the context, when he says what he's about to say in Luke chapter 23, verse 34, he's got nails in his wrist and in his feet. He has been beaten to a pulp. He has thorns in his head. He has been punched. He has been slapped. He has been spit upon. He has been robbed of his clothing and his dignity. And in the midst of all of that pain, he's still fulfilling his passion. He's climbing his mountain because he's dying for our sins. And rejected by every, all the people that he did miracles for, they reject him and they leave him alone and they leave him literally hanging on the cross. And this Jesus finds the power to be, em to be empathetic for other people's ignorance while, while he is suffering for our sins. And this Jesus, can y'all repeat after me? Then said Jesus, Then said Jesus, Father, Father, forgive them, forgive them, for they know not what they do. For they know not what they do. If Jesus, in the middle of his purpose, in the middle of his passion, could still have empathy for those who were doing him wrong. Amen? Then what excuse do we have in life? Amen? In the midst of his passion, in the midst of his climb, in the midst of the greatest achievement ever in the history of mankind, Jesus forgave those who were doing him wrong. Amen? Don't become the bad guy. Follow the example of Jesus. Don't become the bad guy. Amen? An illegal hit on the field, all the young men here, just because someone does an illegal hit to you, that's not an excuse to be illegal and hit someone back. Amen? Just because someone does you wrong on the workplace, my sisters, is not an excuse to go and do something wrong to them. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Deacon Smith, do you mind closing us out of prayer?